All right, everyone tries, or only nine people. Hey guys, why we have soulless people today? Any reason? I don't know. Mm, okay. This is the lowest turnout so far. The most we've had was like 24, right? We have, uh, we have all together 29 kids, but mostly we get at least like 20. Maybe they forgot. Or maybe they're just running late. <laughs> okay. Are you guys working on this? Are you done with the first one? Yeah. It says use zeros to graph the function. If you are kind of confused, look at the last example we did Monday. Just the last example.
Okay, so let's get to this. <clears throat> How far you guys are. So tell me about the first example. Um, so you have x cubed minus six. Yeah, so we, we have to find the zeros and then graph it. Right? So what do you have to do? Calculate the x. <laughs> yeah, take out the x. So you have x squared minus 6x plus 5. And then you have to keep factoring it. So keep the x outside. How would you factor x squared minus 6x plus 5? I'm going to ask you a question to Jasmine. Jasmine, do you need only the x or x and box? What? To factor, to factor the x squared minus 6x plus 5, do you need only the x method or x and the box method? You only need the x method. Very good. Okay, so tell me what are the factors. Uh, <laughs> if you're still trying on that one. I, it, wait, hold on, I haven't done it yet. So, five goes here, negative six goes here. You have to find two numbers that multiply to five, but add up to negative six. What are those? Anybody else? Negative one and negative five. Mm -hmm. So that when they add, we will get negative six, and when you multiply, you get five. So this is going to be x minus one and x minus five. So what are the zeros? We set this equal to zero to get the zeros. And you get x is equal to zero. Then you take the second factor and set that equal to zero and you get x is equal to? One. One. Then Correct, and then you take the third one, which is x minus five, set that equal to zero, and that gives you x is equal to five. So how many zeros do we have? Three. Three, that's because the degree of this polynomial is three. This is a cubic equation, that's why we have three zeros. Now we have to graph it. Okay. When you graph it, one of the point is zero, then we have one, and then we have five, right? Yeah. So the same thing. Um, we don't know what's happening to the left of this, correct? We need to know what's happening here. So let's just plug in negative one into the function. When x is equal to negative one, what's a y? Use a calculator really quick. Okay, anyone tell me when x is equal to negative one, you're going to substitute right here. What is the y value? Negative one. Come here, go heavy girl. Who's singing? <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead. When x is equal to negative 1, what's the y value? Negative 10. Negative 10? Negative 10. Wait, which one are we talking about? Oh, number 1, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's negative 10. Okay. So then, um, so we know that when x is equal to negative 1, it is negative 10, okay, which is good. So I'm gonna extend my thinking. This is negative 10, so it's right here. So, so far good. So we are going to go from here 
it's going to come here. Then we don't know if it's going to go up or down. I'm just going to assume that it's going to come down. And then, So that's a graph. If you want, you can pick some point in between these to figure out how low it will go, how much so far where below. Where you plug in like the negative one again? Um, ask the question again. Where do you plug in like the negative one? Into your h of x. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next thing is solve the equation. Do you remember all these exponential equations? Yes. Okay. When you solve the exponential equation, what's the strategy that you're looking for? What are you looking for? Converting to the same base. Correct. You need to convert this and this to the same base. So three looks simple enough. So can you convert nine as a base of three? Can you convert nine as a base of three? Yeah. Okay, that's what we are going to do, okay? So I don't have space there. So example two, A. Nine is going to be three square. And the whole thing is raised to the power two X. And then X to the power, three to the power, X minus six. Okay, now tell me, um, how do you combine this two and two x? How do I combine this two and two x? What do you do? Add, multiply, divide, you do? Multiply them. Multiply them. So that's going to be the power four x is equal to three to the power x minus six. Now that we have in base, how would you solve the equation? You do the 4x equals x minus 6. Correct. And you can do this. Now that we have the same base, you can equate the exponents. Now remember, you can equate the exponents only if you have the same base. Only if you have the same base. That is why we converted the 9 to 3 square. Now we have the same base, equate them. So you have, you subtract x from both sides first. So you have 3x is equal to negative 6. You divide by 3 and you have x is equal to negative 2. Questions? Okay. How about 2b? What do you do here? In 2b, on the left side, the base is 4. Right side, the base is 8. You need to convert both the 4 and the 8 with the same base. Do we have a base where we can convert both 4 and 8 into? Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. So then come back here. In B, 4 is 2 squared. What was the power? 3x. Okay. And then other side is 8. How do you write 8 as a base of 2? 3 to the power of 3. Correct. And what was the power there? I think x plus 1. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to use the property of these two combining together. So that's 2 times 3x, which is 6x. And 2 times. 3 multiplied by x plus 1. This 3 and x plus 1 get multiplied. This is called power of a power rule. We have the same base. You can equate the exponents. We have 6x is equal to 3 times x minus x plus 1, which is 3x plus 3. Subtract the 3x, divide by 3,
So you get x is equal to 1. Yeah. Okay. So this is how you used to solve exponential equation when we learned, I think this is chapter six or something. It's a good review, right? We will bring those, those concepts. Okay, now, uh, how do you solve a system? X is equal to three Y and y minus 10 is equal to 2x. This is a system because we have two equations and two variables, the two variables are x and y. And we have two equations. How many different methods you learned about solving systems? Two. Two, what are those? Substitution and elimination. Correct, very good. So, you can either use substitution or elimination in solving any system of equation, depending upon which is like convenient or which method is easier in the problem. So what do you think here? Can we use elimination or substitution? Which one would be easier here? Substitution. Substitution, yes. So let's use substitution method. Substitution method. So um, x is equal to three y, huh? Three y, huh? And y plus ten is equal to two x. Correct? Yes. Okay. So uh, we can substitute. We are going to substitute x is equal to three y into the second equation. So you have y minus 10 is equal to 6y. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, now tell me what. What is y? Two. That's um, two or negative two? Positive two. Wait, no, sorry, negative two. Okay, so we got y. Are we done with the problem? No. No, because we have to find both x and y. We got the y, therefore, x is equal to three times negative two because we are substituting back into the first equation we know x is equal to 3y we already found what y is so just substitute there and we have x is equal to negative negative six uh, are we done yes let me see there is one more step see who remembers that graphing uh, no, right as an ordered pair Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the final answer to this has to be ordered pair. The final answer has to be in an ordered pair. X goes first. Y. Okay. How about... How about the second system? We have y is equal to half x plus two, y is equal to three minus three. We have two equations, two variables. Elimination or substitution? Which one? Here also element, a substitution will work. You know why? Let me show you. You see that y is equal to half x plus 2. The same y is equal to 3x minus 3. So why can't we substitute? Let's substitute. 
So you can replace this y by this y, which is 3x minus 3. You know y is equal to 3x minus 3 from the second equation. y is 3x minus 3. So this y can be replaced by 3x minus 3. Or set them equal to each other because they both are y. If they both are y, they should be equal to each other, right? Okay, so then um, if you subtract the half x from both sides, you have two and a half x is equal to, and you're also adding three to both sides is five. Divide by two and a half on both sides. You get x is equal to five divided by. Hey, if this mixed fraction is creating problem, why don't you just write it as a, an improper fraction? Two and a half is actually five over two. Now we are going to use um, division by fraction rule. Division by fraction is multiplying by its reciprocal, so you have, or five divided by two and a half is two, right? Two and a half times two is five, so five divided by two and a half is two. That's your x. But that's not enough. We need to find what y is. So therefore, y is equal to, you can either substitute here or there, right? This looks like it's easy because there's no fraction. So three times two minus three, which is three. Therefore, the final answer is two comma three. Okay, now take a look at all three warm-ups. Do you understand everything? Yeah. 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 Okay, so we will pick these kind of problems for the warm-up so you will stay in touch with all the things that we have learned previously. Okay, let's go back. I think I have one more problem or two more problems. No, just one more example from 8.5. Is it 8.5? Yeah, 8.5. Last example. Example 5. Okay. Okay. We are asked to find a cubic function, which is like working backwards. They gave you the graph. Now you have to come up with a cubic function. Let's take a look at the previous example right here. You had a cubic equation and you had to graph it. Right here, you are given a cubic equation, you have to graph it. Example five is you have a graph, but you have to come up with the equation. Do you understand the direction? Yes. Hello? Okay, so you have to come up with an f of x or an h of x or a g of x or something, but we have given a graph of the function that you're trying to find. Okay, first, think about this problem. 
what was given to you here? The function, and then you use the zeros, right? By looking at the graph, can you tell me the zeros? Uh, don't answer anyone at this point. I want everyone to look and have an answer and I'll call someone. Okay, I want everyone to look at the graph and tell me what all are the zeros. <laughs> okay, uh, look at the graph carefully, come up with the zeros. It's a cubic function. So how many zeros you should be able to find? Three. Three. You all found, uh, you all okay, now anyone can answer, no problem. I gave you time. So the, yeah. Go ahead, Jasmine. The zeros are x is equal to? Negative 3, 0, okay. and positive 3. Correct. The second one. And this is the third one. So we got three zeros. Okay, look at this example. Where was the work for that? Oh, I wrote it here. Okay, yeah. So um, from here, see what happened. This is how you got from the function. Okay, what is that? Okay, I think you erased that. Okay, look at the first warm up then. Once you, the step right before you getting the zeros look like the factors, right? I'm looking at the first warm-up today. After you got the zeros, look at the step right before that. You have everything as factors. I want you guys to do the same thing here. If you know the zeros, you can come up with the factors. So f of x is equal to x minus minus 3. That's one of the factors. x minus 0 and x minus 3. So three zeros will give you three factors. Shouldn't there also be an A? Yeah, hold on. So you have X minus minus three, X minus zero, F, X minus three. What form is this? The form of a cubic function. Um, no, uh, it is a form, but then I'm talking about the standard form or the vertex form or the intercept form? Intercept form. Okay, now remember every intercept form is an A in front of it. So we have f of x is equal to A times x plus 3. This is simply an x and this is a Next question is, we don't know what this A is. Can you guys mute? Okay. So then uh, our next goal is to figure out what this A is. Look at the graph one more time. Have we used every point that's given on the graph? No. All right. You see that there is a point right here which we haven't used yet. This point is to find your A. Okay, so let's do that. This is your X, this is your Y. So F of X is replaced by two. And every X in this expression is replaced by negative one. Because it passes through the point negative one comma two. Okay, I think that will confuse you. Okay, because the graph passes through negative one comma two, we get a every x is replaced by negative one. Okay, so you have two is equal to a times. Negative one plus three is? Two times negative. Negative one minus three is negative four. So two is equal to, two times negative one is negative two, and negative two times negative four is positive eight, so eight A. What are we trying to find now? A value? 
Correct. So now that you have 2 is equal to 8a, you're going to divide both sides by 8 to get your a. So a is equal to just 1 fourth. Okay, so A is equal to one four. Okay, now that we got our A, we are going to go back to the function f of x is equal to one fourth times x plus three times x times x minus three. Now remember, we wanna write the function in standard form. What do you have to do if you have to change this intercept form into the standard form? Multiply. Yeah, you have to expand this. Okay, and I'll tell you an easy way to expand. I'm going to bring the x first and keep it here. This x, I put it here. Next we have, then we have this x plus three and x minus three. What is x plus three times x minus three? X Remember, minus nine. Correct. Remember that that's the difference of two squares, right? X plus three times x minus three is actually x squared minus nine. So always look for those easy ways, okay? So that's going to be one fourth. Now we have to distribute this x cubed minus 9x and distribute the 1 fourth. You could have done it before itself. So it's 1 fourth x cubed minus 9 over 4x. That's your cubic function. Let's go over the steps one more time. You're asked to write a function in standard form, a cubic function. Given to you is the graph. From the graph, you can figure out the zeros, which are negative three, zero, and three. Using the zeros, you can come up with the factors. It just go the opposite. So x plus three, x minus zero, and x minus three. But we have an a in front of it which need to be found, and that is why the fourth point is given to you. It will always be given to you an extra point. This is your x, that's your y. So f of x is replaced by the y, which is two. Every x in the expression is replaced by negative one. You do the algebra and you get a is equal to one fourth. Okay, now that we have the one fourth, we can plug it back into the function and you have this expression right here. Since we are asked to put everything in the standard form, you have to do some expansion. So the expansion is one fourth x. These two multiplied together will give you the special product, the difference of two squares, x squared minus nine. We are distributing the one fourth x into everything in the parentheses. So one fourth x cubed minus nine fourth x is the cubic function. It is cubic because the degree is three. The degree is three, so it's the cubic function. All right, so 8.5 is over. I think we have one more lesson from chapter eight, which we will do Friday, okay? Do you guys remember that the homework is due today from last week, the three homeworks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did did you all understand the direction that I wanted to be like everything in one file? I didn't get time to check the last week, so I'm gonna do that today. 
and then the grades are due April 9th, the quarter grades, both the week's homework will be entered for that, most probably, if not at least past weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. After we okay. Chapter eight, are we gonna start chapter nine on Monday? Yes. Uh, or maybe we'll review Monday. We'll review um, Monday for the whole chapter uh, before we get into chapter nine. Okay. All right. All right, Jasmine, I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, we can talk for five minutes if you guys want. Do you guys have any other question? How is your other classes going? Um, confusing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is my only video class. Ah, uh, I see. This is better, right? Yeah. So what do you guys have missed the class? Uh, what's the drawback of this one? What do you guys don't like about this? Everything's harder to learn. Everything is hard to learn. But there yeah. are teachers. Yeah. Other than like you, I don't have any teachers that are actually teaching. So. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm talking about the, my way of doing this. Like, you know, uh, apart from like, you know, I'm doing this, I'm sending those two things. Um, even with that, is it okay? Or um, tell me, what is there any way we can make this better? Or this is good? No, this is fine. This yeah. is fine. And anytime you're confused, you can always go back and then, you know, fast forward and go to the point, that explanation one more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So 8.6 is pretty, it's a short lesson. So I can definitely finish that Friday. Uh, Monday, we will review. And if we need to review, if we need more review days, we will review Wednesday also, and then we'll start the chapter nine afterwards okay okay all right so um, what are you guys doing at home homework <laughs> yeah <laughs> is it more work than before yeah yeah oh okay yeah, it's like it. what is kalyan tell me i said it feels like it it feels like more even I though know. we have a lot to do it. yeah yeah i guess yeah, I heard the same thing from calculus class too. Okay. Um, all right then. So I'll see you guys Friday. Um, again, as I told you, just hang in there because my calculus class gets over at 1140. And if they get delayed, our class will also delay. That doesn't mean that I forgot about it. So just give me some time, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, you guys take care. I'll see you Friday. Bye. Okay, bye. By the way, it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> Happy April Fool's. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Take care.